So one of the new data types that we're going to start introducing is something that we classify as a tree. And the entire principle behind this, if we've looked at uh, what, we're, what we've been talking about so far, uh, we go all the way back to our intro courses. We remember we learned about something called an array, right? It's just a sequence of numbers in some collection. And we actually started to expand on that as we started to get into uh, sort of lists and linked lists. Really, uh, a linked list is just an implementation of that list, but what we kind of added to this was there's no inherent kind of connection uh, to, say, for example, uh, these elements, except for, well, now that's a little rambling. I would say there's no actual kind of uh, memory purpose like the array we were we learned is very explicitly stored in memory in a very sequential order uh, but if we kind of abstract that concept we don't need that uh, in say something like a, a list you know uh, I do maybe have some different implementations of this like stacks queues and whatnot so now we get into this idea of a tree and the big principle that we start to expand on uh, with lists and uh, linked lists is this idea of a parent child connection uh, and this is a little bit different than inheritance uh, you know an inheritance a, a an object could inherit uh, from say its parent class it's the same when we actually sort of same and different at the same time when we would show you some UML diagrams uh, say for example you see those constantly in kind of textbooks everywhere, we're showing you a parent-child tree. We're actually showing you the hierarchy of kind of how that stuff is represented. And so that's sort of what we're kind of doing. If, say, for example, I were to open up uh, just my, my own personal computer, we actually see very similar approaches. Here's my C drive, for example. And if I just dig into, say, uh, Windows, we see that I get more folders, and those folders in turn uh, have their own folders and files. Uh, we can actually kind of look at this in a very similar manner that, uh, say for example, uh, this in US is a child of app, pa app patch, which is a child of Windows, which is a, a child of my C drive. This is actually sort of where we start to learn some of the vocabulary terms. So this element right here that I'm kind of I, I just happen to conveniently uh, have uh, visible this is a node inside of our tree uh, but since it's you know it's there's nothing past it it really is what we would classify as our root it's very similar to the C drive or uh, so the C drive on your Windows machines or just uh, root uh, on your Linux and Unix devices but as we start to expand downward from that we do have a few different vocabulary terms so one of the things you might notice is uh, from my root I happen to have some children so A is the parent of B C and D now B and C you notice they continue to expand but D has no children he ain't got no kids and what we actually classify this as is a leaf node you ask why not root well roots actually here so it's you know imagine your tree was flipped upside down that's kind of the best way I, I would kind of classify this but since that the reason why it's a leaf node is again because it has no children since for example B F C uh, these all have and I'll even kind of point at them uh, and I'll let me change colors since B A C and F all have children we actually classify those as internal nodes another way you could think about this if you want to use kind of more technical uh, terms and maybe the leaf uh, analogy is not working for you this is also considered an external node 
And so we can start to expand on this with a few more definitional terms that are kind of important. Uh, so say, for example, uh, this family that I have going on here. I'll just kind of circle it out. So one of the interesting things about any tree is that it can actually be represented with a collection of subtrees. And if we think about that analogy again of where are you? That analogy again of my my uh, file hierarchy on my computer, very similar. Uh, my current folder, my root folder, is just a collection of folders. If I if folders and files. If I go into any one of these, I see just another collection of uh, I see a sub-collection of folders and files. I see a sub-collection of folders and files. I don't have permission to go into there, so I'm not going to go into there. <laughs> uh, but you get my, my drift. I could uh, fonts. I have permission to go into fonts. Collection as well. So this starts to kind of expand. One of the other things that we start to look at when we're dealing with uh, our, our roots is what we would classify as the height. And the height gets told by how many levels we have. So this level right here where A happens to be sitting, that's level zero. Nothing terribly crazy, nothing terribly outlandish, but you notice how B, C, and D are sort of the direct, what we call, uh, let's say, let, let me kind of put this here, we would call this a descendant, descendant of A, right? So how far is it? Well, it's only one level below A. Same kind of thing. F is, technically speaking, a descendant of B, a child of B. F is also a descendant of A. You can see if we follow this line here, it's leading up to A. So, as you can imagine, this section here is our 2, and this section is our 3. Now, I've been using the term section uh, for a little bit, but one of the things that we can kind of take note with that is if I looked at any particular kind of level, let's say I do 2. This is what we would classify as our depth. How far down the tree uh, does it go? And we continue to excuse me. We continue to expand on these ideas. So, like I was doing earlier, you saw that I happen to have uh, B leading all the way to A. So, I used a term there. I used. Let me actually kind of delete some of uh, this stuff. There we are. I used a term, let's actually redraw that line. I called this a path. So a few different terms are actually kind of coming into play. If I look at this B to F kind of connection here, that is what we would classify as an edge. Now that edge, in this case, gets broken down uh, that B is the parent of F. As such, a path is a collection of edges. So as we can see, I did a B and F connection. I'll change colors here. And I have another edge that would be A to B. And so that's sort of the higher, sorry, that's the path uh, of F to A.